Can you help me do an oil change? Yeah, absolutely. What kind of oil and filter do you have on hand? And do you have the right tools, like a wrench for the drain plug and an oil filter wrench? Yeah, I got the Cashel 5W40 recommended and the correct oil filter, and I have the correct tool for the oil filter housing. Great, you've got everything we need. To get started, let's get the car lifted and access the oil drain plug. Okay, and where's the oil filter? The oil filter is located on the front of the engine, right below the intake manifold. It's always a good idea to remove the oil cap before you drain the oil. Okay, great. I'll do that. Okay, up we go. Okay, I got the car up in the air. Where's the oil drain plug? That's the plastic panel you'll need to remove. The drain plug is located underneath that panel. There's the panel off, and looks like that's the drain plug. What size is that? It looks like a 17 millimeter drain plug. I'm gonna pull it out now. Make sure you have the drain pan in place to catch the oil. Let me know when it's drained. You drain it out. Once the oil completely drains, you can wipe down the drain plug area and put the new washer on the drain plug. Put the new washer on the drain plug. I'm gonna go ahead and put it back on the car now. What's the correct torque spec? For your N54 engine, the correct torque spec for the drain plug is 18 foot-pounds. Okay, that's 18. Okay, there's the flap back on now. Now I'm ready to drop the car. You can lower the car and then we can focus on the oil filter. So I got the oil filter removed now. Okay, I see the old filter in your hand. Before installing the new filter, you'll need to replace the large O-ring on the cap that comes with the new filter. There's also a smaller O-ring at the tip of the cap that should also be replaced. I see the two O-rings in the plastic bag. Go ahead and replace the ones on the filter cap with those. You can use a small flathead screwdriver or a pick to gently pry the O-ring off. Got it. You're gently prying the O-ring off with the pick. It looks like you've got the green O-ring in place. Okay, got the new O-rings and the new filter in. Perfect. Now that the oil filter cap is ready, go ahead and screw it back into the housing on the engine. Okay, I'm just tightening down the oil filter housing. What was that torque spec again? It's actually 18 foot-pounds. Go ahead and set your torque wrench to that setting and let me know when you're done. There we are. That's 18 pounds. Okay, I'm ready to top up the oil. So how much does an N54 take? It's 6.9 quarts, which is 6.5 liters. Your N54 doesn't have a dipstick. You'll need to start the engine and let it run for a few minutes to let the oil circulate. Then you can use the vehicle's electronic oil level sensor to check the level. Okay, Gemma, the oil looks full. It looks like you're all set with your oil change. Another job well done. Thanks so much, Gemini. 